What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai H3 Mods. This is Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta versus Full Powered Super Saiyan Broly. The fight that everyone is talking about for the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie and today we're going to do somewhat of a showcase between Broly and Gogeta just to demonstrate further their powers and to more or less get a better understanding as to who would win in a Budokai Tenkai H3 like setting. So if you are new to this channel, what up? Hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. Let's go on ahead and jump right into this fight. So, originally, I wanted to do base Gogeta and then Super Saiyan Gogeta and then gradually progress from there. Uh, but I just figured, you know what, why not stick to just regular SSB? Just to see if we can progress with just Super Saiyan Blue before we dive into, you know, going into God, then Super Saiyan and base and whatnot. So, I'm kicking things off with my boy Gogeta. And obviously Broly is the target. We aren't going to select any teammates for now um, unless absolutely necessary. Now, of course, as you guys can see right there, Broly does have an Ultra Instinct form, which we are going to use. Uh, but just for entertainment purposes, I want to see uh, exactly how this would go down if my boy Gogeta uh, clashes against Broly. So leave your uh, thoughts in the comment section below if you guys are for Team Gogeta or if you more or less sympathize with Broly in this case. The setting seems perfect because this is the exact setting, or not not at least the exact setting, but a similar setting in which we see Broly fight Gogeta in the movie, so this is going to be barbaric, man. And, and who would have thought, you know, Gogeta to actually be a thing in Dragon Ball Super? Nobody would have, you know, ever have dreamt that. So, here we go, Broly versus Gogeta. Honestly, uh, there's no comparison, Gogeta just stomps utterly, but... Uh, in this case, I really wouldn't pass the Broly. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't put it past Broly to ultimately adapt uh, because he adapted to Super Saiyan God. He adapted to Super Saiyan. He adapted to Super Saiyan Blue. So, you know, I think that if given enough time, uh, I think that Broly could have adapted to Gogeta. But being that Gogeta is just simply a monster, that puts him above anybody else that we've seen in Super so far, which includes Vegito. So the argument of Vegito versus Gogeta is basically out of the window now, uh, especially after the T.O.P. with Gogeta having to be so strong. And I am just, I, dude, I'm bodying Broly. Hold on. Let me see real quick. Oh, he got me on, uh, he got me, he got me going on something right now. Let me see if I can unleash. Oh my God. Yeah, this is over. I'm going to go on ahead and just step on in. Uh, if I wish we had the, uh, Punisher driver in this, in this game, that way we could have, uh, more or less solidified our attack and, and causing more damage to Broly, but what I think people have to recognize here uh, and, and basically respect is Broly's adaptability factor uh, because he's able to adapt more, more or less than anybody else. And uh, proof to that is when he fought Super Saiyan God Vegeta, when he fought against Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and this right now is actually a little difficult for me because uh, we haven't uh, we haven't really tested uh, Gogeta out in this game fully. Damn, dude. Okay, um, I don't think I don't think this would necessarily be accurate for Broly to do against Gogeta, not unless Gogeta allowed him. Um, but more or less, I I, I want to know in the comment section how you guys personally feel about Gogeta and Broly in this case because for me, I'm sorry, I'm going. Oh my God, he has Kaioken. I'm going with my boy Gogeta on this one. What is this? The Soul Punisher. Oh, that that right there would be a game changer. That I don't think Broly would survive that. Then again, Broly wasn't even going to survive Gogeta's final attack in the movie uh, if it were not for Shile having to basically pull him out of there. But uh, more or less, this is the. Uh, this is the accuracy of uh, Vegito, uh, actually Vegito. First of all, if Vegito was in this, that would be totally different because I think that he would defuse so quick. But this is this is not more or less accurate to Broly scaling because Broly did not do this to Gogeta at all. Even though Broly hung in there and he was able to, I guess, more or less be on par uh, to Gogeta in Super Saiyan form and then in base form and stuff. Damn, dude. Okay, while Broly is tossing me around, this is becoming an issue because he has more health than me right now, so that means that Gogeta is in trouble, and all of the Broly fans right now are probably so hyped that he may potentially win. However, I'm going to reinsure this man that he is not uh, going to win this. Wow, did he just cancel out my attack? He did. All right, let's see if I can actually, hold on, I, I need to body this man. I, I need to body him quick because if I don't end up bodying Broly right now, then he is going to body me. And I do not want to lose this fight, not with Gogeta. Unless I am Broly and I can smash Gogeta, then that's entirely different. Look at that, Kaioken. Can you imagine the amount of pressure that Gogeta would be putting 
on Broly if he were to do this. Aw, uh, can I snap out of this? Yo, this is going to be a close-ass fight. This right here, guys, is going to be a close-ass fight, unless I catch him with this. Oh, we caught him. Okay, so I think, uh, I think Broly is going to, uh, die in a matter of a few minutes, because he's nearing the edge of his limit, and I don't think he can actually keep up with me right now, unless... Oh, oh my god. Wait a minute, folks. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is Broly going to win? Who knows? Oh, 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 oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, this is becoming, this is becoming incredibly alarming. There we go. All right, so it's safe to say that Gogeta took this this W, and Broly got that L, because this was a really close fight. This was a really, really close fight. And if you guys have missed out my previous video that I did on, on Budokai Tenkaichi 3, make sure you guys go on ahead and check that out. So, uh, I want to go on ahead and select a different character. I want to go on ahead and swap them out, uh, just to see more or less if Broly can do the exact same thing he just did, uh, you know, against Gogeta. So I want to see if Broly can beat Gogeta right now. Um, and again, we're going to do Super Saiyan Blue. We're going to start things off like this. Uh, we're not going to add any teammates, of course. You know what sucks is the fact that Broly never had an additional form in Dragon Ball Super. Um, I would have loved to see him adapt the god form in which we saw in Dragon Ball Z 4D. That movie that aired in Japan was incredible because Broly looked different even though I would have loved to see how he would look like now with that exact look. Um, I think that he should have a similar form to that in the foreseeable future. Here we go. Gogeta versus Broly and I am taking requests guys. Any requests you guys have uh, for specific battles. Oh my god. For specific battles or any battle that you guys want to see in the future, uh, let me know in the comment section. And uh, let's go on ahead and do this. I might do, I might do base Broly versus uh, br uh, base Broly, base Gogeta versus Broly uh, on a different video. Uh, because right now I think that what, what I mainly want to stick with is the concept of su full power Super Saiyan Broly versus Gogeta, being that this is the premier fight for this super movie. Uh, Alright, can I smash him with this? Okay, so far, I think Broly is comfortable in his position. We got a 30 hit combo going on here. Gogeta, damn, Gogeta's key blast. And, like, I think that, hopefully, there is more to be showcased from Gogeta in the future. Um, I'm not sure where, you know, Fusion stands in the future of Dragon Ball, because I think that they could... Uh, bring back Vegito. I think they could bring back Gogeta, but being that Gogeta is a thing now I think it's pretty cool because it further solidifies if Goku and Vegeta need to do fusion again They could do it whenever they want. Let me see if I can just engulf him in this massive in this massive energy blast Look at this. Oh, he's finished man. There is no way you will be the first to die fake Kakarot Ooh. Okay, so right now Gogeta is not doing so good uh, impact attack. Okay, so he got me with the exact same move. Um, I think it's safe to say that Broly uh, is stronger in this game, maybe. And he's using Kaioken. Okay, uh, because Broly's uh, energy, his key factor, uh, comes back way quicker than uh, uh, Gogeta's. So, if you guys haven't noticed that already. So, but what, I, what I want to see right now, what is he going to do? Oh, crap, baskets. Oh, he that was nice. That was a really good pump fake right there. He got me... I did not expect for him to do this, with with all honesty, I did not expect for him to hit that, uh, that Soul Punisher on me, however, Daddy's home, oh boy, can I, oh, I can't escape that, damn, okay, um, I need to figure something out, I, I could, theoretically, I could go Ultra Instinct, but I don't think that would be a good thing right now, alright, this man's pissing me off, eat that, can I, oh, did, did I get him, I tagged him, see, this attack is quick, this attack that Broly has is pretty quick, so I could catch him from afar with that exact attack. Okay, if you launch that Punisher Driver, or that Soul Punisher, I- Oh, wow. I was going to unleash this, but being that, in your, you're, that you're in my face right now, you're finished. So, damn, dude. But you know what? I think that, um, I, I definitely- I'm, I'm on Team Gogeta for this one. Gogeta, even though, even though I'll be the first one to admit, I love Vegito more. I love Vegito's look. I love his style. I love his demeanor, his overconfidence, his cockiness. He comes off very, very, very condescending and disingenuous at times when it comes to fighting. Like, for example, Buhan, Zamasu. However, the only thing I love about Gogeta is the fact that he is incredibly serious all the time. And now, I have reached the peak of my power, he has reached the peak of his power, and now it's time for me to just level everything. Can I level Gogeta before he levels me? Oh my goodness. 
All right, folks, we're gonna have to be very careful. I'm gonna have to hit this on him. All right, never mind. Oh boy, this is bad. This is okay. KO, nice. All right, so we got that victory over him. That was that was actually pretty close because I I legitimately thought at some point that Gogeta was gonna get the better of me, but being that my boy Broly got that victory, uh, it's time to swap things around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my boy Gogeta. We're gonna pick Super Saiyan Blue. And if you were to ask anybody, like legit anybody, that in 2018, 2019, we were going to see Gogeta versus Broly, everybody would have called you crazy. Everybody would have called you a clickbaiter. People would have thought you were insane. Um, and being that, you know, it's an actual thing, you're not insane for even thinking that to begin with. So uh, let's see if I can handle this. I can already see the comment section. Yo, man, do Vegito versus Broly, do so and so versus Broly and stuff. So I, I don't, I don't know necessarily who I'm going to pick next. Uh, but whoever it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. But again, if you guys are enjoying this video, slap a like on it because it does help out the channel a lot. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out more of the Tenkaichi videos in the playlist section. Okay, he got the first hit on me. All right, so let me see because this man, this man Broly is uh. He's actually bringing the firepower to me this time. Hold on. I am neither Goku or Vegeta. I am your executioner. That would be that would be a dope ass line. I am neither Goku or Vegeta. I am your executioner. And then Broly's like, what do you mean, executioner? And then Gogeta's like, let me show you. And the fact that Gogeta just dominates Broly in the film, that's that's the type of fusion that we've all been wanting to see since day one. And I don't understand why. They made Vegito's timer basically run down to like a few minutes. Uh, when he fought Merge Zamasu, that was one of the coolest things ever. Like anyone out there can tell you that. And the fight between Vegito and Merge Zamasu was special because it was during a time where fusion was absolutely necessary. So I, I love the idea that fusion was necessary against Broly because Broly was just that strong. Uh, I just think that the way they executed Gogeta is a lot better than how they executed Vegito because Vegito just completely burned out before he even had an opportunity to showcase more of his power. Gogeta in this case, I think, um, I think was done very well. I think that the way they executed Gogeta was great. Um, I'm just really hoping that in the future they do more with that. So uh, if you guys want to see any specific team battle, any specific one on battle, let me know. Uh, I can, oh, what's wrong with my character? Whoa. Whoa, am I frozen in time? Oh, there we go. I was about to say, what just happened to Gogeta? Um, a lot of people are probably going to request for Vegito versus Gogeta, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that fight. On my main channel, Unreal and Gaming, I'm going to do a discussion as to why uh, Gogeta fares up better against Vegito, but why I also feel like the Potara Fusion is stronger than the Meta Marie's. Um, I think that was implied during Dragon Ball Z, uh, and in the manga as well, in the Dragon Ball Z manga. So it really it really goes without question that both fusions do have pros and cons. Um, I just feel like they, they could have done a better job with Vegito instead of just rushing him, instead of just doing whatever, to just get a quick, you know, fanfic in or whatever and just, you know, call it a day. Um, and imagine, imagine if Gogeta was in the Tournament of Power. That would have been sick, man, against, against Jiren and stuff. Dude... All right, this dude, um, <laughs> him and his key blast. These key blasts are getting really annoying. All right, Broly. Let me see if I can just kick him in the sky. Come in there with some shots, and uh, hopefully enough down the line we will see uh, this game be like remastered or redone, whatever. You know, like that'd be pretty cool. Kaioken, let's do this. Oh, he hit his max too. Oh boy. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, so it's it's Maximum Broly versus Kaioken Gogeta, and I think that if they plan on saving uh, Broly for a later arc down the line, I, I would love to see him adapt a brand new form. Oh, gee, why am I stuck? Like, why am I stuck? You guys saw that, right? My dude could not move for the life of him. Oh, boy. All right, so even though I am in the lead, I need... Oh, damn, look how fast that attack was. If that attack hit me, that would have been it. But it's time for us to take Broly down quick. We have to take him down now. Hold on, hold on, folks. Hold on. Even though even though I have the upper hand. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Maximum hits. We're just going to beat the crap out of him. That's all we're going to do right now. Okay, step back. Use the Big Bang fusion attack, and it's all over. Okay, so 
Uh, Gogeta took the uh, the W on that one, thankfully. And because I thought that Broly was going to uh, catch up there, but hell, it is what it is. Alright, so Broly versus Gogeta. We're going to go in ahead and seal this off one more time. This is technically uh, fight number four. And so far, they're both even. Even though I prefer to see Gogeta over this one. A lot of people are going to say, oh man, how come you don't just allow them to fight head on? Like, computer versus computer. I want to be involved in this. I definitely want to be involved in this. And, as a means, I would love to be involved in a fight of this magnitude. Broly, you think you can defeat me? Oh boy. Look, I, the only thing I didn't like, or I don't like about the Metamarese fusion, is that jacket and stuff. It just, it kind of seems a little tacky to me. Uh, I'm not saying that it just looks incredibly awful. I just feel like white pants, you know, vest, it's like, okay. I get it to an extent, um, I would just like something different in terms of design. Because let's say, for example, if he were to get his, you know, vest blown off, then that would be pretty cool because, you know, shirtless, white pants, you know, the little uh, wristbands he has, whatever. But, you know, for me, I always liked Vegito for the clothing aspect. For the hair, I loved his hair a lot more. Um, so, you know, for that, I just feel like Vegito is superior to me uh, when it comes to design, when it comes to overall you know, arrogance and stuff, even though Gogeta, I love Gogeta for him taking things serious, I think that that's a much needed factor in the story, because in the beginning when Vegito fought against Murzumasu, he was just like, you know, oh, I saw an opening, come on, Mr. God, you know, fight me, and then that's when the fight, you know, began to get really serious, until of course we see Vegito talking to him, lecturing him, and then when Vegito finally got serious, or was getting ready to get serious, he just automatically defuses, and that was the end of that one, so... But Gogeta is different. Gogeta stood throughout the entire fusion, you know, until the end of the fight. Like, he stood head on, and that's what I can really appreciate. Alright, Gogeta, you are going to eat a fat L right now. Which means, I think that, um, this is going to result in a draw, I think, because Broly would have two victories, technically, uh, and, uh, Veg uh Gogeta would have a, um, two wins, technically, so it, it, it would be a one-off. Unless Gogeta can beat me right now, then he would have a triple victory. I would not. If I win, this is basically a stalemate. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, Gogeta coming in with those counters. See, that's what I expect from the movie. Instantaneous movements, having to just dodge. Broly getting angry. Bleh. Stand still. Fake Kakarot. Fake Vegeta. And I can't wait to see, like, what unfolds, like, down the line. Because I think that with Broly still having to be a thing... Uh, and for him to still be on Planet Vampa and stuff, I think that, you know, they, they have lots of potential for the character. And it's not like it's a bad thing, per se. I just hope that they write Broly in, in a way to where it makes sense. Uh, because let's say, for example, he does come back and he helps them out. Why is he helping them out, you know? Or if he comes back and fights Goku again, why is he going to fight Goku? Or if he's looking for Vegeta again, why is he going to fight with Vegeta? Because a lot of us, what we want to see is we want to see Broly versus Jiren. We want to see Broly versus Beerus, stuff like that. And I don't think that everything can happen, but I definitely think that um, there's just lots, lots of potential for there to be great things to happen in the franchise once the franchise continues. And my boy Broly is about to terminate. Oh, it's done. Ladies and gentlemen, it's over after this, man. All right. Oh, my God. The ex I don't even know what to call this. Whatever this is, it it's, it's just done. It's just game, set, match from there. Oh, my goodness, man. Wow. All right. So, I guess it's a tie. Either way, everybody, I do want to say thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys once more slap a like on the video. Punch that subscribe button. Check out the previous videos and the playlist link down below. And I'll check you all in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.